This is the hydrogen lab and unstable gas. What we're hoping to happen is create hydrogen gas. So our setup, we have the ring stand, the test tube clamp with its test tube, the rubber stopper connected to a plastic hose and U-hook, our beaker filled two-thirds full with water, and three test tubes filled with water all the way to the top. In order to place the test tubes, you make sure that you fill them up completely to the very top. Put a large finger, or even your thumb, over the end, and then tip it upside down. And you can take off your finger once it's below water. So all three of these test tubes currently, we can see that they are completely filled with water. Our hope is to fill up the test tubes with hydrogen gas. So as the gas travels through the test tube into the hose, um, and then back into the test tube filled with water, the test tubes will build up pressure from the hydrogen gas and displace the water out of the test tube, leaving only hydrogen gas. Our reactants to do this involve zinc and sulfuric acid. We hope our final products will be hydrogen gas and zinc sulfate. So we're going to go ahead and put our zinc into our test tube. The instructions say four to six pieces. Make sure to listen to the teacher's instructions exactly how many you would need. Okay. And if you notice, the zinc is a nice silver color metal um, base to it. And we're going to add our sulfuric, sulfuric acid, and we'll have a single replacement chemical reaction occur.